today we're going to be installing some KC highlights on the front windshield of this Jeep JK. And we're going to install a KC light bracket and then the lights and then wire them up. For this install we're going to remove these two bolts for the windshield bracket, the two bolts on each side that are holding this uh, vent grill in and also we're going to remove both windshield wipers so we can run our wiring underneath here and into the engine compartment. the rubber on the back here, we're going to install the brackets. We have a battery terminal, a ground terminal, and the power from the switch. They're all going to go into the relay. We're going to land the switch power here on this terminal block, which I have wired up to some switches inside. We'll show you on the dash. And this battery terminal is going to go to the battery, the ground to the ground. And we'll have the lights all wired up. With your lights mounted, your lights wired up. The wires run under the hood, your battery terminal landed, your switch terminal landed, and your ground. Your lights should be operating, and then when it gets nighttime, you can direct them and aim them where you want and tighten them down. These are the Daystar switches that I've installed previously. I ran a hot 12 volts to each switch and a common to each switch so that all my future wiring, I don't have to go through the firewall anymore. Got my switches already set up and I've got a terminal under the hood where the voltage for the relay is supplied. Here's what the lights do, how they shine. I am mine slightly above my high beams, so I get a little more distance out in the desert. So here's the headlights. Here's the fog lights. Here's the high beams. And here's the KC lights. You do KC lights alone, so headlight, high beams off, low beams off, fog lights off. And here's a quick look down my street. Uh, this is with just my regular low beams. That's with the Casey lights.